Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will discuss about the window synchronization. How threads and processes are synchronized within the Windows operating system? What are the types of mechanism that is used to thread synchronization? What are the states associated with thread and the object synchronization? What is critical section object and how it is implemented in the user mode? Windows operating system is a multi-threaded kernel that provides support for both real-time system and multiprocessor system. When the Windows kernel tries to access a global variable, then on a single processor environment, it may mask all the interrupts provided by the interrupt handlers that are also tried to access the global variable. Rather than on a multiprocessor environment where it tries to protect the global share access of data by using this spin lock or mutex. Whereas kernel uses spin lock to protect only the shortest segment of code. Although kernel uses the spin locks while protecting shorter segment of code. Furthermore, for improved efficiency, kernel also uses spin locks in the user mode and the kernel mode relationship between them. And it should also ensure that a process that is modifying a kernel and holding a spin lock cannot be preempted. Now, in Windows synchronization, there is an object that is attached to the synchronization and is known as a dispatcher object. Now the dispatcher object can use different mechanism to synchronize it between threads. They can be mutex, semaphores, events and timers. In the mutex, a lock is to be acquired before accessing a particular shared data or resources and after accessing to the resources, the lock has to be released by mutex lock provided by the operating system. Semaphore can be behaved as normal semaphore description. Now, event is more similar to a condition variable where we may notify that a process that is suspended and invoked on a particular condition. Finally, timer, that is the, also an event which is used to notify a thread that a particular amount of time has expired. Now the dispatcher object what we are talking about can be in two types of state. One is signal state and another is non-signal state. In signal state, the object is available and thread will not lock. When the object is in signal state, that means it is available and thread will not lock, which is a current tied to acquire them. Now when an object is in non-signal state, the thread will block now if the object is in non-signal state, then it is not available and thread will block itself while acquiring try to it. Now there is a relationship between this type of object state and the state of the thread. Suppose that an object is in a non-signal state, the thread which tries to acquire a non-signal object, then it will be put into the waiting state from the ready state and the object will then put the process into the waiting queue where it will remain suspended until the non-signal object moves to the signal state. Now when the object state is moved to the signal state, then the kernel will check that the process is waiting in the waiting queue or not. If it found the waiting in the waiting queue processes, then it will select among one process or many other processes that are waiting in the waiting queue. The kernel may select only one process that is waiting in the waiting queue for a mutex object as mutex is only allowed by a single processes that is acquiring it. But for an event type of object, it can allow many processes that can resume its action from the waiting processes. We can use a mutex lock to exemplify this situation. Suppose that a process or a thread that is acquiring a mutex object which is in non-signal state to try. Now if the thread will be blocked and then put it into the waiting state associated with that mutex object. 
Now, when the mutex object moves from this non-signal state to signal state, then the process or thread will be waken up from the waiting selection and goes into the ready queue. Upon that, the kernel can resume its thread's action. A critical section object is a mutex that provides user mode threads that can be done a reaction or acquiring a release of the resources without any kernel intervention. Now this type of resources in user mode threads are performed outside the kernel. On a multiprocessor environment, this type of processes or threads generally uses a spin locks while it is waiting for the resource that is actually allocated to some other resources. Then the acquiring thread of the resources will allocate it a kernel thread and yields its CPU. Now this thread allocation of the kernel can be done only when there is a provision for contention for object. Now the contention are very rare, so the small savings can be done and the kernel preemption will be for our smaller time. Now as the savings are higher for this type of system, then Windows can provide these user mode threads very reliably and smoothly. Now during this various mechanism, Windows can provide thread synchronization. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.